welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, before we get started, as always, I ask you to please subscribe. I uh, ask you to please share these on Facebook or whatever social media you might be on. I appreciate that. I put a thing out asking what you might want on here. Um, one person said uh, they want to know more about me. Uh, which then I thought, you know what, if I expect you guys to to be my friend, uh, we're going to become friends, I'll give you a little bit. I uh, don't want to go into it too much because it's going to sound like I'm bragging because I've had a crazy life. Uh, well, brag on some and kind of down on the other. Anyway, um, I am a recovering alcoholic of 26, almost 26 years on January 29th of next year. I'll be 26 years sober. Um, I was uh, in a band for 17 years that, uh, while I was in it, we toured uh, Kuwait, Bahrain, and the Azores to play for troops. Uh, played uh, shows with... Uh, John Michael Montgomery, Montgomery Gentry, uh, Jerry Reed, Charlie Daniels, just to name a few. Done radio, TV. Uh, I'm not a celebrity by any means. This is just some cool stuff that happened. Uh, my wife is from the Philippines. Uh, traveled over there in 2008 to meet her. Married her in 2009. Uh, she got over here in December, December of that year, and we've been together ever since. And we, I have a son. We have a son. Uh, Ten years old. Uh, who I'm very proud of. Now, if you want to, in the comments below, you can tell me a little bit about yourself. <laughs> anyway, today's video is on uh, the movie Return to Mary Berry. Uh, Goober, George Lindsay, had uh, initially turned down... Uh, their offer, the money uh, that they offered him to be in it. And here in a few minutes, you're going to know why. So let's get into it. Uh, according to George Lindsay, he said, if the producers paid us more money, that meant less money for them, he wrote in his book. Uh, so those decisions always come down to the bottom line, and that means our pay was never extravagant. The return to Mayberry producers offered me $20,000 to play Goober. I turned them down, and they withdrew the offer. Short time later, Andy, who was also executive producer for the project, called and asked if I would do the part for $20,000 as a personal favor to him. Of course, I said yes. How could I not? Now, return to Mayberry was a big hit and a welcome reunion for much of the cast. Um... The film was part movie and part reunion show, and on those terms, it far exceeded Andy's dim hopes. Uh, the writers wisely built the story around the friendship between Andy and Barney, which makes sense since that's what the show was pretty much based around. Uh, and the former cast were grateful to Griffith for his opportunity to revisit a happy time in their lives. Uh, Return to Mary Bayberry uh, was the nicest thing Andy could have done for anybody, recalled Mitch Jane of the Dillards. The Bluegrass Ensemble, uh, let's do this right, the Bluegrass Band, Andy had discovered and promoted on The Griffith Show two decades earlier. Uh, it told people that he had never forgotten the place or the people who had loved him for creating it. I thought that quote was extremely cool. I uh, just, uh, really cool. And uh, I'm getting this stuff from different sources, so the ensemble thing I I'm sorry. They were a bluegrass band. Ensemble sounds like they played classical music or something. I don't like that word. Anyway. I kind of blew my mind that they only offered him $20,000. Now, I know that's a lot of money. But to Hollywood standards, that's not a lot of money. Um, but that just goes to show the friendship between uh, Andy and, and George Lindsay. Uh, which I've talked about in the last thing. I mean, he did it for him. That's all I got for you today. Uh, I hope you appreciate it, and I hope you liked it, because I do appreciate you guys being here. Let me know about yourselves down there. Let me know where you're from, or 
By the way, I'm from Kentucky. That's why I bluegrass band. Uh, and uh, the guy who is coincidentally the guy who won uh, Joy Anderson, who won the book, is from Bethel, Ohio, which is not very far from me at all. And there's we've got people from all over the country. We have people watching from New Zealand for crying out loud. So it's just kind of weird uh, that it happened like that. But it's kind of cool. It's Mayberry, Mayberry magic. Anyway. Like I say, that's all I got for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share these out. I appreciate it. And man, it's getting windy out there. Uh, anyway, um, have a great day. Uh, we'll see you on Monday. Uh, we'll be doing reruns on Saturday and Sunday. So make sure you check them out. Even if you've seen them before, check them out again in case you missed something. Share them out too. I appreciate it. I really do. God bless. Have a great day. We'll catch you on Monday. I'll be praying for you.